This is what's called a Doberiner lighter, and it was invented about 200 years ago by a German chemistry professor. And what it is, is an easy way to get a flame for the times when, back then, they didn't have matches. So let me show you what happens, and then we'll look and see how it works. So if I push this down, the process starts. There was a little pop, which you probably couldn't hear, but that was actually a hydrogen flame lighting. And so by pushing this down, I'm now able to get a flame that I can use to light a fireplace or an oil lamp or my cigarette. So let's see how the Doberiner lighter actually works. I think it's really ingenious. I also think it's really neat because it's all chemistry. So there's a glass chamber, and in the glass chamber there is dilute con uh, sulfuric acid. In the glass chamber there's also an inner chamber, which is open at the bottom, which is full of a gas, which is why the sulfuric acid that's in the outer chamber doesn't go into the inner chamber. The inner chamber has something hanging there which looks gray, which happens to be a piece of zinc metal. And so when the sulfuric acid comes in contact with the zinc metal, it generates hydrogen. And so the inner chamber is full of hydrogen under a slight hydrostatic pressure because the outer level is higher than the inner level of the sulfuric acid. So if one then opens the valve controlled by this, what happens, and I'm going to rotate it so you can see something in a minute, the hydrogen comes out a nozzle here and shoots over to this place where there's a piece of platinum gauze. The platinum gauze becomes red hot because the reaction it catalyzes between the hydrogen and the oxygen in the air is extremely exothermic. The gauze becomes red hot. It then ignites the hydrogen. And although you cannot see a hydrogen flame, it's there. And one can use it to light the, the stick. So let's see what happens. So I'll open the valve. You see how there was some red over there? We'll do it again. So the, open the valve. Platinum is now red hot. So after one has lit the flame and taken advantage of it, the sulfuric acid has come into the inner chamber. It's now in contact with the zinc. It starts reacting with the zinc, generates hydrogen bubbles, and if you look carefully, you can see the hydrogen bubbles. That replenishes the hydrogen that got used in the flame. And that accomplishes a second thing, which is the pressure that develops as the hydrogen is produced, pushes the sulfuric acid back out the bottom so that the whole lighter shuts itself off after the hydrogen has been regenerated.